Hey everyone, it's Amy, owner and curator of Yo So Boho. Welcome! If this is your first time here, I hope you like to thrift because that's what we do here. I am a reseller and a collector and look for all the cool things. So if you like to go shopping and thrifting, then you came to the right place and I'm sure that we can be friends. <laughs> I am gonna take you shopping today at the Goodwill in Kent, Ohio. Mom and I were right down the street at the ReStore and that was on Tuesday. So if you missed that video, I'm gonna link it right up here and also in the information box below. Um, before we do that, this stuff here that's over my shoulder was shown last night on the unlive sale. Now, if you missed that, I will also include a link to that right in the information box below. You can go back and take a look. Some fun things in this month's sale, so be sure to check it out. And you'll have a little bit of extra time to make some offers. I have a wedding this weekend. My nephew, Travis, and his fiance, Lexi, are getting married. So this will be shut down on Sunday. I'm gonna shut it down at 6 p.m. my time Eastern. So you have lots of time to go over and see what's there and make a decision, some fun stuff. All right, the other news is on Monday next week, I will be over on Yvonne's channel, Yvonne Thrifty Rich. We're gonna do another boho sale. So I know a lot of you were bummed because you missed the last one. We're doing it again. We both had enough stuff probably to have multiple sales. So if you love boho art, jewelry, decor, pottery, all the things, join us on Monday night. And then because we're doing that sale on Monday, mom and I decided to bump the Thursday sale to next Thursday. So you'll see mom and I again on Thursday and anybody who would like to keep their box open and save on shipping, we can do that again. All right, everybody, let's go do some thrifting at the Goodwill in Kent. Let's go. I'm competing with Stevie here. Not too much so far. I just got over to the figurines and stuff. I see a little meow ball. It's like Ray Dunn. That's cute. I just bought my cat's bowls, so we don't need any more of those. Look at him. He's got a weird eye. I wonder if he has a hole in his butt. Oh, yep. He's a cotton dispenser. A bunch of cotton stuffed in there. It works, though. Looks like a little cottontail rabbit. You pull a cotton ball out at a time. <laughs> Okay, it's not supposed to work like this. What's going on here? It's like an endless cotton ball. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, but that's how they work. You pull out a cotton ball, and then the next one can just sit there and look like a cute little cotton tail. Two dollars. Little transferware. He's cute though. I think we'll pick him up for two bucks. I have been wanting to find one of these for a long time. I have run into just a couple of them, but anytime I've found them, they've been damaged and this one is not this one is in nice condition little vintage transfer wear made by trina it says trina right here under that area they're not worth a bunch of money the more rare ones are i've actually looked at a couple that i really like on ebay i don't know if i want to hold on to this one it's not exactly what i'm looking for i'll probably end up selling this one but it is pretty fantastic little butterflies on his butt and that little tail. Just such a cool concept. Somebody was smart. Something over here smells good, like a candle or something. Nope, those aren't candles. I see through here though. This is a little tumble up. Nice little one with some gold detail. We're gonna have to be really careful with the tape there. I'll soak it. If you've never seen these before, they're just bedside carafes where this will kind of cover whatever's in there so no bugs will get in there. But then, you know, you can have a little drink of water right next to the bed. Um, this with the gold detail is Libby. And although I was able to remove the tape without damaging it too much, there was already somewhere and I can really see it now that it's in front of the light. But it still looks okay needs cleaned it's really kind of dirty <laughs> but it still looks okay probably if it was perfect with no gold flaking off at all twenty dollars in this condition closer to 15. i will probably sell it on a future live sale or on an on live sale 
um, because I know a lot of people still look for them and they're just fun to have. Nice little guest room thing, you know? Oh, those are kind of cool. Oh, those are so light. It's probably a Hobby Lobby piece. I wonder if that's the candle that I've been smelling. Nope, it kind of smells like cinnamon, but that's not what I'm smelling. Um, I'm going to have to look this up, but this might be a good eBay item. I'll check it out. Jeopardy plug and play. Jack's Pacific. Hmm. I'll check that out too. What is this? Friends crochet kit. <laughs> Cute. Alright, I'm gonna end cap here with pink things and look at how awesome these glasses are. So there's two of them up here and I see a third in here. Are there any more or is that it? Searching, searching, searching. They got split up. Is that glass or plastic over there? Ooh, it's glass. That's interesting too. Look at all that pale pink. Huh. I've never seen that before. That's neat. I'm gonna have to look that up too. What's this? Is this another tumble up? Oh, it's chipped. Little chippies. Teleflora. Hmm. Anybody seen that before? I'd probably grab that if it wasn't chipped. Oh, there's another one right here. Huh. Three dollars. What do we think about that? I'm gonna check that out too. Gosh, I wish we could see another one of those Hazel Atlas glasses. Don't see any more though. Darn, darn. We might just have to go with the three. Don't these say like 50s all day with the black and the pink? These are made by Hazel Atlas. They are in the Harlequin pattern. Um, sometimes you'll also see Argyle because that's like, you know, an Argyle pattern. They're really nice. They haven't seen any sort of dishwasher damage. It's getting washed out a little bit by the light, but trust me, it's pretty crispy. Um, one of them was broken. So I have two, I paid $1.25 each for them. It's like on eBay, they sell for somewhere in the 10 to $15 range. I'm gonna sell them together. So I'll probably put them, you know, somewhere in that 20 to 25 bucks for the two. They have a picture that goes with them and it looks amazing like to have the pitcher and several glasses. Super classic 50s, just beautiful. A little blue area here. Gosh, I love this. This, this blue glass gets me every time. It's such a great color. Got candles in here. I was smelling this one because it says ice cream sprinkles. <laughs> it's not that great though. I love this, but I think this was maybe an oil lamp. I feel like there's something missing there, and it might be a little ball with a wick. Isn't that neat? I did like a little maybe stencil in the glaze with the hummingbirds. I don't know. Could we use that for a vase? A little bud vase? It's pretty great. I'm signed. Earth something. $2. All right, I'm gonna say yes because of the hummingbirds. It says Earthbound, and it looks like 1993. If you look up on eBay Earthbound, you'll see that they did a lot of this kind of country stencil. Definitely like a 90s, early 90s, late 80s thing. But I picked it up because of those hummingbirds. Hummingbirds are popular. And these look wonderful. I would just display it just for the simplicity of it like that. 
just with the two hummingbirds because I think that looks fantastic. This to me is a bit busy with the flowers, but that, that would look beautiful on a shelf. Paid $2 for it, definitely worth it. And I think I'll probably sell it direct here in a future sale um, because I like to sell pottery and I have many people out there who love pottery too. So I think that's what we'll do. Look how fun this is. It says, let's have a cuddle. <laughs> like have a cuddle. I wouldn't want to burn that though. It's so cute. All right, so mom's been clothes shopping. <laughs> This, this might show up tonight in the uh, hoedown. <laughs> She's got some great stuff. But she also pulled out this. Look at this. Isn't this fun? See-through, kind of boho. She said, this looks like you. I said, uh, yeah. It's like a paneled front. Nice and lightweight. Nice. It's so wonderful. And this necklace with it is like... Just awesome. All the colors are picked up from this necklace. And if you missed on Tuesday, this is one of the pieces that I bought from our friend Tuesday from Tuesday's Fun Finds. Um, she does sales on whatnot on Tuesdays and on Sundays. And I've missed the last few, but this is one of the pieces that I bought from her. And it is just stunning. It's a bib necklace. I think it was made by New York and Company. I probably paid a couple of bucks for it because... Like her Tuesday sales, they they start at like $2 starting bid, and that's fantastic. All right, so blouse number one. This is Roman's. Um, the only thing I noticed is it's missing one little button here, but y'all can't see that. You'd never know it unless I told you. The other thing I got is this really great, it's like a cover-up hoodie, and my gosh, it's like the softest. It's just really soft and floppy and it has long sleeves and a really nice big hood and it's super long. It slits all the way up the side. So you definitely have to wear something underneath it. And I think it's more meant to be like a cover up, um, but oh, so soft. I haven't even tried it on yet. Let's put it on. Yeah, it's really great. It's so soft and lightweight and yeah it's weird that it's like slit all the way up to here but you know with a black cami underneath it it's just fine i love it and i love this it could be mysterious <laughs> let's go be mysterious talk about spotlighting the necklace right there <laughs> Okay, let's go back and do more shopping. Oh wait, I think there's one thing that I didn't capture on camera. Let me show you that real quick. It's a vase, but this section here is what holds the water. And then look at this clear section that it just floats in. Isn't that really cool? And look at the colors on it. Oh, the ring light is horrible. It's awesome. I cannot find anything like this. I've done the Google image searching. I've looked everywhere. Can you imagine this in a vignette, like on a springtime table or shelf with your like fresh cut spring flowers coming out of it? Very different. And I love that about it. I paid $5 for it, but I think that's well worth it. Like I said, I can't find anything like this, but just the uniqueness of it and the quality of it alone makes me think this is probably at least in the $30 to $40 range. And I haven't decided yet if I'm going to go to eBay with it or if I'm going to put it over in the booth. It's one of those things that may not be searched for, but when you see it, you gravitate towards it. So it is kind of more of a booth item. So we'll see. I'll probably hold on to it until springtime. So I got some time to decide. All right, this is about the time when the cart came out and we found a few more things. And I think the video kind of cuts abruptly. And that's because we were on the phone with my sister trying to help her out with something. So I'm not exactly sure when this will end, <laughs> but I'll make sure to show you everything. So let's go back and take a look. So we raided a cart that came out. Mom found this little puzzle. I have to share this with you. It's so awesome, Mom. It's wooden and the pieces are little tiny critters. Did you see that? Yes. Or you just opened it and saw, oh, you did? Yes. Like? They're, 
They're animals. So tiny. They're tiny little animals. I think that's so neat. Tiny, but it makes this image, which is also very cool. I actually put this together um, yesterday. Let me show you what it looks like. Well, just like the last puzzle that I assembled, this one is not like a locking puzzle. So everything shifts as soon as you put something in. But what I love about it is look at the animals. There were like some fruits and some animals. There's a tree right there. Here's a butterfly and a dolphin and a some sort of beast there. There's a bear up here, bird right here, just very cool and a lot easier this time because I had an image to go from, but I'd say it probably took me about an hour. Very enjoyable. This is one of those things that I'm pretty sure somebody's going to reach out about just because it is so cool. And if not, I'll probably go ahead and put it in some sort of future sale. So you'll probably find it here somewhere down the line. And then I found this <laughs> by the window. Look, there's a little dragonfly trying to get in here. <laughs> um, I found this $3 and these are big stickers, like posters, retro posters. So they turned into big sheet stickers. So we got Prince, we got the Rolling Stones, Midnight Funk. Isn't that fun? Look at these old retro, fun, fun. ABBA, mom, oh, ABBA. Cool. Look at ABBA. I, know that. I like that one. Yeah, they're not printed great, but I think that individually I could sell them for a couple of bucks a piece over at the shop and look at that. Mm -hmm. You know, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, you know, we're looking at like, 20 plus dollars they're stickers so they actually have like backings and you can stick them to something <laughs> but I thought that was fun and it looks like you can order 12 of these off of Amazon for about $16 now I paid $3 for this and I have a feeling that this will sell really quickly out of my booth um, I sell a lot of cards and things out of my booth check this out mom found a Pyrex piece on that cart. Pretty good yellow with a lid for two dollars. Mom found the Pyrex. Now, this isn't an expensive piece. I think, yeah, I paid two dollars for it though, so that's an awesome price. I think you can get these on eBay for something in the fifteen to twenty dollar range if they're in nice condition. This one does have a few chips on the glass lid i think these are probably pretty easy to find to replace these little glass lids um i've looked for them in the past and usually you just need to know like the quart size and then you can go find one to replace it but yeah it's been dropped right there these are always numbered so they're really easy to look up you just have to look at the bottom look for the number but yeah this is just a one quart little butter yellow dish and i'm sure it will sell i will probably put it in the booth because i have in this same color a little bread pan over there and so i'll probably put them next to each other and throw something in the 12 to 15 dollar range on it those were our finds from over here at the kent goodwill you know we got a little bit of time let me show you real quick some footage from the lakemore goodwill because just a day or two later Earth and i went over there and i ended up getting some stuff now i've been begging on this place for a while because i've walked in and out of this store I would say the last 10 times empty handed. So to find one thing would have been somewhat exciting to find a nice little bundle of stuff was kind of cool. So let me share that with you real quick. Oh, that's front. so cute. Front. Somebody made that. I don't know if it's old. Doesn't look like it's been used too often. That's adorable. How much are aprons? I don't know how much aprons are, but I should ask because that's cute. All right, so I have not been shopping here. And actually the first several aisles we went down, I was cursing the whole time because they're putting stuff online to sell and the stuff they're bringing here, they're putting very high prices on it. We were seeing things for what? Six, eight, 10, $15. Yep. Um, in fact, the only reason we will spend money like that is for things for ourselves. Like this is a OXO 
um, sealable ice tray. I've been looking for something like this for the camper. They have $4 on this. It's like $10 to $12. 10 to 12 minutes. yeah. So this is something we would have gone and bought anyway. If we need it, it's yeah. worth it. Yeah, if we need something, them. we're gonna do it. This, they had some styrofoam in. There's still some glue in there, but I saw it underneath some really crappy flowers and they only had $3 on it. It's a Hager floral and it's in a really great shape and it's black, so I'm grabbing that. This was in the toy area. I have no idea why. This is a nice shisham like plant stand and they have four on it. That's worth it to me, even if I just use it as a riser for my own use, although I'll probably sell it. This surprised me. This was over in the lamps. This is a ceramic lamp. Imagine the light that comes out of all those holes. I couldn't believe when I picked that up and only said $3 on it. That's actually a good price. They had a ceramic tea fall. You looked this up. It's like 22, 25 bucks. 25, there's, I just noticed there's a little but scratch. I don't wanna worry about that as long as it's not chipped in here. Okay. But this is something that we need. So again, we are looking for something for a replacement for the camper. We we use a tea fall at home. We know tea fall is a good name. And for $10, we'll grab that. We came over here and I was looking through, there's some vintage stuff in here. This I was really considering, look at the green. This is such a great green. And this is a vintage Irish. Um, it says threads drawn by hand, made in Ireland. Um, it's just a kind of small square tablecloth. And then there are, I think four napkins. It's so pretty, it's in such a pretty green. But then I saw this one. Look at this. Again, this looks brand new. It's also linen. This is probably about the same size. It might be square. No, it might be, might be rectangular. Look at that. And it has eight napkins. So I think I decided this is four and each of these is 50 cents. So what, four, five, six, seven, eight dollars for the whole set. I think we'll go ahead and get that. I had two favorite finds. One was in the toy section, this little table, this beautiful little hand carved, look at that star kind of shape there, Isn't that beautiful? So this is a uh, shisham, and this is probably like a little plant stand, all hand carved. I have some tables like this that came from Ethiopia, but I think most of these are made in India. This one is nailed in, but usually these are separate and you can take this out of this um, holder here and you can fold this up so that it will store flat. But somebody threw some little nails in here to hold it in place. $4. So that I thought was a great deal. These are the kind of deals that we have not been seeing at this particular Goodwill. So that was a nice surprise. And right before I found this, I found this. I love this and I couldn't believe this one is only $3. We haven't seen anything like this over there in a really long time. Let me shut the light off real quick. Isn't that a pretty little night light? It's got all those little holes punched through it. Now this I think is an eBay item. I have sold some other lit up things um, that do this, you know, that kind of are luminaries that show light through. Um, so yeah, I think this will go over to eBay. Now, of course I'll do a Google lens search. I haven't researched any of this stuff and I will share here on screen what it's worth. But isn't that pretty and I love the blue. And the very last thing that I grabbed on our way out the door, so you don't see this in the cart, is a blouse, of course. <laughs> um, it has so many things that I love. First of all, this is kind of my color, this wine color. Then it has a cowl neck, which is also something that I love. So ding, ding, check two. Then it has some fun cutouts down the sleeve. So a little kind of, you know, sexy, which checks a box. <laughs> so I'm pretty thrilled at finding this on our way out the door. All right. It looks like it might go with this. So we should probably try it on. Let's get this out of the way. 
Uh, yeah, totally me. Definitely my color. Definitely love this little cowl. I will definitely be wearing this in an upcoming video. I like. <laughs> All right, everybody, that was it. We found some really great stuff there. I was super surprised because like I said, I've been walking out of there empty handed for months. Get out everybody and do some thrifting. Find your own treasures. Don't forget Sunday, we're gonna shut this sale down over here. So if you are watching these or you have any offers in, just be aware of that 6 p.m. on Sunday, that will be closed. And I will see you on Monday over on Yvonne's channel for the second boho sale. Super excited about that. And we will hang out a few times next week, including that other live on Thursday night. So lots coming up and I can't wait to spend it with you. I will see y'all next week. Until then, please take care.